I'm here to help people, you know. I, I mean, I'm giving you tips. So I'm going to try to teach you, uh, show you how I'm going to do this and give you tips on how to not get scammed if your TV doesn't work very well. And yes, I know what I'm doing. All right. I'm not going to go into that again. I've, I think I've said it a, a lot of times already. But I am going to share a little bit of a story because I did promise my friend and myself that I'm standing up for me now. So after college, I got a job, which was an amazing job. So for those who wonder, like, you know, how do I have some things? Well, I used to work at one point in time. And it was fixing ATMs and other point of sale equipment. So anything with NCR on it, I'm trained for. So anything at Sobeys and all their subsidiaries can do that. And I did that very well. I'm also fully trained for anything Debolt. Except for their new medicine machine, because I've left there since then. And all those Visa, Desjardins, debit machines and whatnot, there wasn't many of us that spoke French. I did that as well. That sounds all great, and it was great. I loved it. And did I wear, you know, makeup and... Yeah, I did. Um, did it matter? It shouldn't have, but it did. And... I found my voice now. I didn't have it then, which is why I'm sharing the story of what happened. So when I got that job, and I'm not going to name the company, if you can guess who they are, I mean, more power to you, but um, I'm not saying anything. My boss was in Dartmouth. My job was here in Moncton, and this was like my territory. I wasn't the only tech. There was four, six, I don't know, a bunch of us. And there was the lead tech, as he liked to think he was. He was just the senior tech. He didn't think women should be doing this kind of job. And he let that be known to others as well as to me. He would tell me almost daily that, you know, the boss was going to come down and fire me because I didn't know what I was doing because I was a girl. That, that was his only criteria was that I was a girl. And he also, after a while, would say things to, you know, other colleagues as well. And that all eventually, after a while, got high up enough that there was a meeting. And now, I liked that job. I, it was, you know, what I studied. It was what I was doing. And it was frustrating because this person was the one that was supposed to help me learn and teach stuff. Not only did he purposely not teach me anything, he would actually set me up to fail. It, it was very rough. And I wish I could have stood up for myself then, but I couldn't. So again, other people spoke out on my behalf as well. So we had a meeting with him and the CEO of the company. Both sides were said. And then the CEO said, well, Something wrong is going on here. Something that should not have been said has been said. But, Chantel, you're going to have to suck it up. Because this person has been with the company for too long and has too much knowledge. And that was the end of the conversation. I quit the next day. <laughs>